All right, this is gonna be a quick video showing everybody if you um how to install Battlefield on an SSD and install the uh, expansion packs on a separate hard drive and still be able to play. I'm sure uh, play the game. I'm sure you can do this with any game. Um, this way you get the benefits of the SSD being able to load faster and not having to take up all your space. So you're gonna need a program called Link Shell Extension. You can go ahead and Google it. Click on the first link it'll take you to this page. This page has all the information on what this does. I'm gonna do a very quick rundown of what it does. Um, after you go to the page, just click uh, download, download the prerequisites, and then download the extension right here. What this is going to do is it's going to give you a menu set. It's going to add more to your right-click menu. It's going to add pick link source and um, another button that says drop as to your menu. Get that later. Now, what this extension is going to do is it's going to create a shortcut between your Battlefield folders. So right here, I have my C drive, and this is the main drive that Battlefield is installed on. And also have my D drive. Okay. And what this is going to do is all the expansions are on my D drive. They're not on the external uh the C drive. They're right here on my D drive. And so what this this uh program is going to do is going to create what's called a symbolic link. It's basically a shortcut between both drives. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that right now. And it's going to trick Origin into thinking that certain programs are on the C drive when they're really just on the D drive. All right, so let's go ahead and do it real quick. So whenever you install your Battlefield updates, they go to the update folder. As you can see, this is my main Battlefield folder by all the Battlefield files that I have. Just click on updates. Now go to the file, go to the uh, external hard drive or whatever that you have all your, all your uh, DLC on. And uh, what we're going to do is just to prove to you that it works. I'm going to go to view games. As you can see, all the expansion packs are installed. China Rising is expansion pack one. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete expansion pack one. Once we go back to origin and click, you can see that China Rising is no longer active. All we have to do is go to the drive that the DLC is actually installed. Right click, go to pick link source. After that, go to drop as symbolic link, uh, confirm. And then after that, you can see that X pack one, which is China Rising, is now there. And you know it's the link is created because now you have the little green arrow here. If we go back to origin, when we click, you can see China Rising is now available. And now if we go back to <clears throat> Battle Log, we can see that uh, um, after we uh, click play to try to join any server, you can see that it actually says joining server. You know that if you don't have any of the expansions installed or any DLC that's needed for that server, an error message would come. Uh, would come up now you can see that the game has been launched and uh, Go ahead and make sure everything loads perfectly so you know that it works And I've never, I haven't tried this with any other game just this one But you know, I'm sure the same the process works and like I said the all the program does is it creates a shortcut um um, from one hard drive to the next. Yeah, and as you can see, the game works. And so I hope this helps somebody. I know a lot of people have been wondering how you do that. But hope this helps somebody and happy gaming, y'all.